Rice is a super quick and easy foundation to a lot of amazing dishes. Risotto, fried rice, soup, paella, arancini, the possibilities are endless. It all boils down to how to use it. Today, I'm here to answer your most commonly asked rice questions. A lot of people achieve great results with rice cookers, but I'm a little bit more old school. I like to use a saucepan or a skillet. What's really important is you've gotta respect the ratio of double the water to rice. Now let me show you how to make the perfect fluffiest rice. Let's do it. So, really simple. I've got one cup of rice right in there, a little pinch of salt, and then I add two cups of water. Give it a quick stir, and it's as easy as that. So my water is boiling. I'm gonna put the lid on, turn it off, and just let it steam for about 20 minutes. It's really important to not mess with it, to not touch it, just let it go. Rice is done. Just get in there with your fork and fluff it up. Perfect. If you have a rice that's undercooked or overcooked and you wanna salvage it, no problem. Just reuse it. Put it in a soup, in a stuffed pepper, or even make rice pudding. Now if you have rice that's watery or mushy, no big deal. Just take a colander, strain it out, pop it on a sheet tray, and let it cook in the oven for about five minutes. It'll dry up. My ultimate favorite rice to cook with is this right here, Canadian wild rice. Now, I recently had the chance to go and collect wild rice, and it really gives you an appreciation for this, all the hard work that goes into it. I love using local ingredients, and you don't get more local than this. My ultimate favorite rice to serve is risotto. Let's do it. So turn it on to medium-high. I'm gonna start with a little bit of butter, a touch of oil, and now the first step is I'm gonna add a little bit of onion. To that, I'm gonna add a little bit of chopped garlic. Now you wanna let these onions go two, three minutes. You'll see the color will change a little bit. It won't caramelize, but they'll become a little bit translucent, and that's the trick. You don't want any coloration here. Looks about right. Now, time to add my rice. Before I start adding our stock in there, I just wanna kinda toast the rice a little bit. It's nice and coated with the oil, the butter. There's no coloration. It's time to add in my liquid. Turn the heat down just a bit. And so I put a little bit in. I just start to mix, and I want it to kind of absorb, you know? All the rice is gonna soak up all that stock, and that's where we're getting all our flavor. And you wanna keep that going for about 18 minutes until it's perfectly al dente. It's looking really good. Season it just a little bit. A little bit more butter. Just let that melt right in there. And some cheese. Mix that right in there, melt up, ooh, yeah. And that's it. All right, it's looking really good. That's a big portion. You guys are hungry, right? A little crack of pepper, and the perfect cheesy risotto. In a pan with oil, you can add a little bit of water if you want to give it some extra moisture, but the best way to reheat day-old rice is to make my favorite, fried rice. So, I need a couple of things from the fridge. All right, so fried rice. I've got a wok and I really need it on super, super high heat. What I want to do is get the rice in there with the hot oil and, and start to caramelize it so it's really going to get nice and crunchy. And I'm going to put a good amount of oil in here. That looks good. Oh yeah. So for this I'm using canola oil. It has a really high burning point, uh, so it won't smoke up or it won't burn. And as you can hear, my pan is really, really, really hot. 
That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna let that rice kind of caramelize a little bit. At my house, we like to order Chinese food on Sunday nights, and this is really what we do on Mondays. We take the rice out, and we basically empty the fridge right into here. And now we can start adding all of our ingredients. So I've got a little bit of pork belly over here, a little bit of garlic, some green onion, a little bit of kimchi, a little touch of soy sauce, then just want to make a little well right in the middle and we're gonna crack two eggs right in there. And just mix it up. We're good to go. Wow, looks good. That's everything you need to know about rice. Now you're the expert.